Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, and in this session we'll be showing you the many ways to create coordinate systems. We'll start off with the simple way, as we have this part in front of us, and I'll simply go into coordinate system. Now, we have several choices how to create a coordinate system, defining it. We can either do it by selecting the face, or defining our origin and x direction and y direction or actually selecting a coordinate system that exists from SOLIDWORKS uh, on the part itself or normal to current view. We'll talk about that one at the end. Let's start off with select face. With select face we have several options. First of all whenever we select on a face, the Z direction will be perpendicular to that particular face that we'll be working on, that we have chosen. So for example, if I were to choose this face over here, and we have our coordinate system in the corner, where our Z represented by blue is exactly perpendicular to the face that we've chosen, and the red being the X direction and the green being the Y direction. Now, you may not want this particular corner, so we also have methods of moving it around. Now, you'll note also, the moment I've clicked on this box, a bounding box has been created around the part itself. That box is actually, if I would take a look at it at all different sides, is the exact outer measurements of the part itself from every direction that you look at it. Now what does this box actually give us? This box gives us several things. First of all it gives us corners as you can see here but also besides the corners it also gives us halfway points on each line and halfway points on each surface as shown over here. So let's say I want to move my coordinate system from where I chose it to a particular corner such as this corner over here or to a specific point this is simply done by pick origin by picking origin I can simply click on any corner such as this one here and it will automatically jump to that corner if I put it into the middle corner of uh, po point over there it will jump over there as well as the one on top over here it will automatically jump to that particular point now I'll talk about flipping around a coordinate system. You'll note, as I said, the blue represents the Z direction, but I would like to have my Z direction actually pointing up in this particular case. So what I can do is simply flip around my X axis. So we have here the option called flip around X. Every single time I click on this button, the the coordinate system will automatically flip 90 degrees. I'll just continue going until I get to the exact position that I want to get to. We have the same option for flipping around Z, for example. If I want to have my X direction going in a different way. And we also have to flip around Y and so on and so forth. Now I'd like to go back to select face and pick face. And I'd like to show you some of the other options we have here when we're doing the selected face. Right now, when I did it the first time, as you see over here, it automatically popped up in this particular corner over here. The reason for that is, is that I have a setting here, corner of model box. If I were to choose, for example, top center of model box and then click on the face, then the home position would automatically put itself in the center of the part as shown here in the center of that particular boundary all the way up on top itself another thing that should be noted is that when I choose select face the face that I'm choosing must be a flat face I cannot choose a face such as this face here because I cannot be perpendicular to that face 
and I'll get a message saying illegal plane direction. So it must be a face that's straight, flat, as this face over here, or even this face here. And I'll get a coordinate system where my Z is actually perpendicular to this particular face, as you see over here. Now that I've picked this face, I can also still manipulate my home position. I can go back to pick origin, and let's say pick this corner as my origin, and my home position will move to that particular area over there. But you'll note that my x direction and my z direction is incorrect. I would prefer having my x direction going along this line. All I have to do right now is simply choose the option over here called pick x direction. By simply clicking on pick x direction, I'll click on the line itself and you'll note that the x direction will automatically flip so that it's on that line itself. Now we're all set basically to continue on with our coordinate system. Now let's go over a little further down in our field and we'll note that we have here another option called Delta X, Y, and Z. If I were to choose Delta X and say move it one millimeter in the minus direction, you'll note, now zoom in, that my coordinate system is moving off in the negative position according to the measurement that I've chosen. I can do the same thing for my Y and the same thing for my Z direction as well. I could always put this back at zero and then we're back to our original position. We also have the option of rotating around the axis. If I want to rotate it, for example, around my X axis, I can say let's rot it, rotate it 10 degrees and you'll note that my coordinate system is rotated now by 10 degrees around my X direction. Now the moment we've actually finished choosing our coordinate system we can simply click on our V and we're set to continue working on our part filling in the, the information as our tool start level, clearance level and so on and so forth. In my next lesson that I will be showing you, we will be teaching you the other options such as define and um, coordinate system, which we actually choose it from uh, SOLIDWORKS coordinate system, and uh, normal to view. Thank you for joining us on SOLIDCAM Professor. Take care and have a nice day.